guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kaylee. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing a review of the new Kathleen Lights Zodiac Collection. So I did get the palette. I got the On The Cusp highlighter as well as the What's Your Sign Luxe Lipstick. If you guys don't know who Kathleen Lights is, she is another YouTuber here. Go ahead and follow her. I will link her channel down below. She's awesome. She does lots of old school makeup tutorials and monthly favorites type of videos, but she's really awesome and she's super talented at makeup. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to click that red button right down below. Go ahead and subscribe before you leave. And if you guys are ready to see the review of the palette, the highlighter, and the lipstick from the new Kathleen Lights Zodiac Collection, then please keep watching and let's go ahead and get started. We are testing out a brand new eyeshadow palette today. I wanted to do my eyes first, so I do have them all prepped and ready to go using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm super excited to play with this palette today. So this is what it looks like right here. It is like a navy blue, really deep, dark packaging. And then you have all of the zodiac signs in rose gold, so it's really pretty, really beautiful packaging. And then this is the back here with all of the different shade names. And then here on the inside, you do have a nice mirror, which is an addition to this palette. Kathleen's last palette, the Dream Street palette, did not have a mirror in it, so this one is slightly more expensive than that one, but you do have a nice sized mirror in this one. This is a super nice size palette for traveling. It's not too big. It's so convenient, so I really do love the addition of the mirror with this palette, and I think that is definitely worth the additional, what, like $2 or something. So this is the inside of the palette here. It is a gorgeous layout of a palette. Honestly, I was not this excited about a palette for a minute. I love that it's very different. You can do a lot of different looks with this palette. You definitely have a few more cool tone colors as well as some more warm tone colors. I love the inclusion of the names below the shades in the palettes because that's not very common of ColourPop's palettes. It wasn't in her last Dream Street palette. The names were not on there. They were just on the back. So I do love the inclusion of the names as well. And I think it's so nice that she really thought about each individual shade. She goes in depth and talks about her reasoning behind creating each shade specific to that zodiac sign so I thought that that was a really cool concept so I think this is definitely very different than a lot of things that are out there especially relating to zodiac type palettes I am not someone who is super into zodiac signs personally I know that I'm an Aquarius that's really all that I know but I think that this is a cool concept if you are into zodiac signs and I think that the shades are really really beautiful I think that I've talked for long enough let's go ahead and get into swatching all these shades so that you guys can see them this is the Aries the Taurus, the Gemini, and the Cancer, the Leo, the Virgo, the Libra, the Scorpio, the Sagittarius, the Capricorn, the Aquarius, the Pisces. So I kind of have a look in mind that I want to create with this palette. I'm kind of wanting to use some of the more warm tone shades like up in this corner right here. In Kathleen's reveal video, she's wearing a kind of purpley eye look using these shades here. And then she had the Aquarius all over the lower lash line and I thought that was so pretty. So I definitely want to try to use that on the lower lash line. I'm not sure if it'll look as cohesive as hers using the purples with the blue, but I want to try to use the oranges. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and we're going to get started with the demo. So the first shade we're going to go into is the Taurus. And we're going to do this as our transition shade. So above and into the crease. It's hard for me to tell. It's like when I first put it on, it looks like a cool toned brown. But then as I'm building it, it looks a little more warm. It's not really super warm or super cool. Just like a nice medium toned brown. Taking it into the inner corner. Bringing it down slightly. Then with circular motions, blending up towards the brow. And then when we get to the outer corner of the eye, I'm kind of bringing it out just a little bit. Definitely a nice amount of pigmentation on this Taurus shade. It's blending super easily. I mean, typical of ColourPop eyeshadows, they just blend so nicely. 
So normally I would try to go in with like a little bit more of an orangey shade when I'm doing an orange look. However, there is not a matte orange shade in this palette. Really the only matte shades are gonna be that medium brown that we just used, this deep cool toned brown, this kind of bright plummy purple shade, the bright periwinkle blue Aquarius shade, and then the Capricorn is gonna be like a matte black but it's got some gold shimmer in it. And then I believe that she said the Libra was more of like a satiny shade. So all the other shades in the palette are going to be metallic shades. So there's not a ton of matte shades in this palette. This is why I'm sure she said that the Zodiac palette pairs very nicely with her Dream Street palette because it doesn't have a ton of transitional matte shades. So as you can see in her Dream Street palette, there are a lot more matte shades. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six different matte shades and they are a lot more warm toned. I feel like this one is probably missing a little bit more of a warm toned matte shade. That's just in my opinion. I can definitely see how these palettes would work very well together. Getting back to our look here, the next shade we're going to go into is the Virgo and we're just going to start darkening up the crease area with this shade. This shade reminds me a lot of the Modern Renaissance, I think it's called Cypress Umber, that really deep matte brown shade in that palette is one of my all-time favorite matte brown shades. I mean, that is very, very pigmented. I barely put any product down, and I'm just working on really blending it out. So far, not really experiencing too much kickback in the pan at all, not seeing any fallout on the face. You really don't need to pick up that much product in order to get a nice amount of pigmentation. I'm really dipping into the shades super lightly. Okay, so I'm wanting to do like a little bit of a halo on the lid using the Aries and the Leo. So I'm gonna take the Aries on the inner and the outer portion of the eye, and I'm just gonna apply this with my finger. Very nice and bright. Really pretty orange shade. So I'm starting at the base and then whenever I get less product on my finger, I'm bringing it up. It's a very bright orange, but then when you turn your head, you definitely get a beautiful gold reflect in it. And then we are going to do the same thing using the Leo in the center of the lid. Start it low and then blend it up. All right, so there is still currently relatively no fallout on my face. We do have a tiny few little specks of glitter from the Leo shade. Honestly, I'm not in love with how this is looking right now. I was kind of picturing it differently in my head. It might just be that the shades aren't really appearing that bright on the eye with that really dark brown as our crease shade. So I think I'm gonna dampen a flat brush and then try to just intensify those shades a little bit more. All right, so there's still not really too much fallout on the face. Again, just a tiny bit of glitter. So I think we're just gonna continue on. I'm going to do my face makeup real quick, and then I'll come back and we will finish up with the lower lash line. All right, so base makeup is done already. I feel like the eye look is looking better. Since the Aries has that very golden duochrome look to it, I think the Leo is just not as contrasting as I was wanting it to be, so I did go ahead and pop a tiny bit of the Gemini just in the very center of my lid to help give it a little bit more contrast, and I think that really helped the look. So let's go ahead and do the lower lash line now. So first, I think I'm going to go into the Taurus and I think I'm going to try to keep that a little bit lower. I'm just taking a really small amount, not too much. We are next going into the Aquarius. Kathleen said that this is a shade that you kind of have to build just because of the color and the undertone of it. I think this is such a different, very pretty blue shade. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the Taurus and try to blend that a little bit. I'm gonna see if dampening this brush a little bit and going back into the Aquarius will help it to be a little bit brighter. Okay, so I think that helped a little bit. I think it is a little bit brighter now. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Gigi Hadid Nude Gel Liner in my waterline. Still looking a little bit kind of strange and now my eyes are like super watery. So I guess to finish this look, 
We are going to go into the Cancer, which is probably the brightest shade in this palette. So we're gonna use that as our inner corner highlight shade. I'm just going to take a flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to go back into the Virgo and I'm just going to take this right along my lash line and just use this as like a little bit of eyeliner. So that is going to complete this look. I'm going to pop on some lashes and then we're going to be back to test the highlighter and the lipstick. I swear eyelashes can save any look. All right, so we still have the highlighter and the lipstick to try now. So super creamy. It is a really, really beautiful highlighter. Definitely a more peachy undertone, but that is really beautiful. I usually like to apply this kind of highlighter with a sponge. Kathleen likes to apply it just with her finger and tapping it on her face. So on this side, I'm going to tap it on with my finger how she would apply it since she's the one who created this. So we're just going to tap this on. So pretty. To me, this method is just a little bit more tricky for me to get it kind of blended and natural looking. I mean, it looks beautiful and it applies nicely like this. All right, so I think it looks very pretty. Let's go ahead and use my super dirty sponge on this side to apply it. I just think it lets you get such a beautiful, natural blend when you apply it with a sponge. I mean, it's just like so seamless. And you know what? I am going to take a little bit of this highlighter and take it into the inner corner as well. Just for a little bit of extra like BAM. So the last thing we have to try is the lipstick and I did get it in the color What's Your Sign. Oh, it's a little smushy from the inside. That's sad. It's a really pretty nude shade. I love how creamy and easy to apply this lipstick is. It's such a nice formula. I think it's a really pretty shade, honestly. It's a little bit darker of a nude shade, especially for me with super fair skin. But if you have a more of a medium skin tone, this would definitely be a really, really beautiful true nude. And I think that the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick Formula is very, very nice. It's super creamy. It's very easy to apply. All right, guys, so this is the completed look here. I actually think it came out pretty nice. It was really a little bit kind of rough not having a warm warmer transition shade doing such a warm eye look but I think it came out really pretty I think the blue is nice and pigmented on the lower lash line so between the three products that we did try I think that the one to get is definitely the eyeshadow palette I think that it is very beautiful very creamy very pigmented and very easy to blend and I love that it's kind of different you can create a lot of different looks with it I think if you already own the Dream Street palette, I think that this palette will be even better. You can mix it with the Dream Street palette and have those warm matte eyeshadow shades that I feel like this one was lacking. Um, aside from that, I love the mirror. I love the compact size of it. To me, I would pay $18 all day long for this eyeshadow palette. I think it's beautiful. I think Kathleen did a really nice job with the concept and the layout of this palette. I also really, really enjoyed the highlighter. I think it is very beautiful. It's definitely more of a peachy undertone a little bit dark for my skin tone just a little bit I'm sure I would definitely get some good use out of it I think it's just a very pretty highlighter so I do hope that this review was helpful for you guys if you are not already subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe before you leave thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video